This week's Tech Tool of the Week is Boink's Mouse Pose. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We're going to start by actually using it. And as you can see, Mouse Pose is creating a spotlight effect, which allows me to select different portions of my screen to point out whatever I need to demonstrate to other individuals. And now we're going to go up here and take a look at the mouse pose settings on the menu bar. And there's the mouse pose icon. We'll click on it. And here's the mouse pose menu. As you can see, uh, the first option here to activate by pressing the F1 key. We're going to go to the settings. And here's the main settings window. And again, as you can see the first item here, the hot key F1. And that's to activate boinks and in here if you click on that you can change it. We're going to leave it the same. Next is the deactivate after duration. So by default I have it set to 30 seconds just to keep it on there as long as possible but you can easily type in here whatever you want and you can see the sliders change. That just means that you can also use a slider to change that. You deactivate manually by pressing the hot key and here you can see this is the circle radius and as I expand it the radius of the circle expands so if you want to select more content to point out you can do it that way and in the same way you can decrease it. Here's the opacity you can change that to maybe better highlight what you're wanting you can see now you can't see any of the other parts of the desktop we'll go ahead and change that and finally the option here for the color which is going to be everything outside of the spotlight and we'll just go ahead and change it here to red orange color for demonstration purposes and now you can see it's kind of a reddish color go up here to the miscellaneous tab and you can see some of the additional options I have it set to start mouse pose at login which adds the menu bar icon at the top and it's ready to go with the simple press of a hot key updates are set to do weekly and when I click on advanced mode you can see I've got an advanced option in this area for selecting beta versions and in the mouse pose effect you can see on the circle radius and opacity it just gives me a little bit more detail one more time there you can see the changes and I'm just going to go ahead and revert to defaults and that'll put everything back right the way it was and that's mouse pose